hey beautiful people welcome back to my channel if you are new here you are so so welcome and if you're already part of this family thank you so much for tuning in so guys in this video i am going to be showing you guys how i did this puddle puff um hairstyle coaches like hairstyle so if you want to see how i did it please watch the video to the end and guys please if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do it right away just do it. it doesn't cost you anything it is your own wealth encouraging me so guys please subscribe like my video drop your comment drop anything and anyhow you feel in the comment section down there and guys please make sure you watch this video to the end make sure you watch it to the right end and i will see you guys in a bit hi guys and welcome back so you're going to be needing a scissors a kinky bulk i'm using darling products right now because that's the only thing available then this is the passion twist from an old hair then my beads and my calories so i went ahead to remove my bulky kinky one strand of the bulky kinky then i splitted my passion twist into two like one strand i split it into two so it won't be too rough and all of that yeah and then i cut that one strand of um bulky kinky into two sorry i mistakenly deleted that video so i'm just trying to explain it that is my bulky kinky and my passion twist so i started off by making a loop where my hair and the crush will pass through and i'm not going to tie this um loop because my hair will definitely pass through that place so i need to keep it soft enough for my hair so when i tie um when i tie my passion twist on one place i kind of adjust my hand upwards so to create the rough for the puddle puff and after that i still go ahead and tie that place adjust my hand up a little bit to create that ruffle i actually didn't want a very big ruffle so i won't go out there and be looking so dramatic you know my hair my pod is looking so so big so i just wanted a mini pod more like looking like a crochet so i just wanted it to look like a distressed butterfly locks or jungle braids i don't know but that is me doing my crochet I really really like this thing like it is very soft as i want it i actually made this hairstyle some time ago but the ruffles didn't give me what i want the ruffles was too too small more than the way i wanted it so this is me trying to make it myself so i will go to the hairstylist to install it later on so the passion trees the soft passion trees i was using got a bit rough so i cut it off and added a new one I introduced the new one to this strand yeah and that is it i really love how this is looking so that is the end i tried cutting off some excesses so i'll be able to make a very very smooth end and that is it i tried rolling it backwards like upwards then i drew it a bit rubbing with my hand and trim it off and that is it guys i'm not making everything the same size because you know my the back of my hair is going to be short and the front is going to be longer so that's why i'm trying not to make everything the same size so guys that is it for the progress and this is me trying to add my um carries i am so in love with carries or carries and beads i was trying to add it using my crochet pin this is super simple so i just wanted to show you guys how you can do that And guys that is it i am done i did like um i did like 80 pieces that was what my bulky kinky could produce i'm actually not going to use everything i will sell some but i have to get another bulky kinky and do another one and guys that is the final process i would have used a hair stretcher for this but 
I used a synthetic product so I cannot I, I cannot apply heat on a synthetic product directly because I'm going to burn it I am just going to burn it off and I'll be the one suffering it when I will go for installation I'm just trying to iron the loops so don't iron the whole body just the loops so it will be relaxed like very very relaxed that is it guys so this is me trying to show you guys the loops but i ended up showing the body <laughs> i didn't know my camera was not the right way it is supposed to be but it is fine and please if your heat if the heat from the iron or yeah from the iron is from the pressing iron is too high you're still going to get it burned so just make sure the heat is low and if you're making use of a non-synthetic product maybe a human hair or something like that go ahead and use your hair stretcher yeah so i actually did this for like two to three hours and i'm super excited with the outcome so guys that is the end that is the end product and end of today's videos please do not forget to like my video comment share comment subscribe most especially and see you guys in my next video very 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 soon bye guys <laughs>